He said he got you a 10 piece nugget. And fries. And fries, yeah. Just in case, just bring a double, uh, not a double, uh, hey, just hello, a little trim and put a with cheese. How did you learn to be a barber? I was just born with it, you know? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> No, the actually, razor in your I hand. practiced on my friends in my mother's kitchen, hacking up, you know, my friends for years, just trying to get better and better. And, uh, you know, like anything, the more you practice, the better you get at it. So when I went away to college uh, on campus with no money, I picked up my clippers and said, let me see if I can, you know, make some extra cash while in school and just kept, you know, developing and it just grew from there. And do you own the shop here? Yes. And so you opened here 13 years ago? 13 years ago. That's great. 1996. That's great. And what, uh, what is the secret of the success here, do you think? <laughs> no. Honestly, it's just uh, having good people that you uh, can vibe with and create a good work environment. Just believe in what you do and have a right attitude and be a people person. Just be able to not take yourself too seriously. Just enjoy what you're doing. Is 130 okay for you, Mark? Is 130 okay for you? He was my roommate. He stole my idea. I am an asshole. All right. My friend told me about coming here when I first moved down to Albany. And I met John and Chris. And there was another guy that I had met here that was working here at the time. And I got the job and I started learning under these guys how to really do professional haircuts. And what do you do here? Uh, sweep up, run errands, clean the shop up. Nice. What do you What do you like about it? Uh, just um, uh, <laughs> I like John. It's a fun environment. I joke around. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty funny. Mello, what do you mean that you like John? Best? I like him he didn't say you, you better, but that's not what he said. I like John more. Yeah, I said I like John. And yeah, you just said I like John. Uh -huh. That's what I mean by you. This like is John was born this time, so I said. You know what I'm saying? Terrible, man. I like John. I got to get in this shop. What did you say about the people? I like the atmosphere, the environment. Um, you know, we strive to make everyone feel welcome. We try to keep the atmosphere family friendly. Is this your family? Yes. Uh huh. This is my wife and two girls. How long have you been coming, would you say? Ever since you were two years old? Wow. So you trust him? Yeah. <laughs> so are you guys all getting your haircuts then? Yes. Yeah? Um, and who's going to do it? John. John? Do you guys know what you want? Shame. How about you? Can you tell me what you're doing right now? Uh, it's actually a skin fade, high okay. and tight. What the technical term is I'm just cleaning up the loose hairs on the back of the neck. Just skin to blend it into the top. This is called a taper. Okay. Basically you're keeping most of the hair around here and you just want to kind of fade this area out over here and then eventually I'm going to work my way to this area over here. So you'll keep most of it and this area will be faded in and the lower neck part will be faded. This is just a basic haircut. It's just one level even all over. Okay. So I'm just uh, cutting it down. Okay. It's called a Caesar. I live in Philadelphia in the Maryland area. In Philadelphia area. I have a barber here that's fine, but when I went to Maryland, I couldn't really find a barber that could cut my hair. I've been satisfied coming here, um, very much so. As far as being able to get my hair cut, it's the closest thing I have to home. What's unique about a barber shop, like as a as a setting, as a place? I think it's just probably because people can come and kind of, pardon the pun, let their hair down and you know relax talk about you know anything from A to Z without you know fear of you know 
being criticized or judged or you know, having to you know, answer to someone. Usually it's in a community where everyone is somewhat familiar with one another so you can get family members that meet you know, by chance or you know, friends and you, know, you just see relationships grow and develop. Honestly, I enjoy coming here. I enjoy the debates. Uh, you know, these guys always have with each other. You know, John. Uh, he's like I leave the area a lot. You know, I go away from military, and uh, you know, he always gives a good haircut. He's, it's rare that somebody can be so fast and uh, and uh, cut your hair so good. You know, so I know I'm gonna be in and out, and uh, I don't have to worry. I never even have him show me the mirror at the end because you know, I know he does a good job. That's great. And you said the debates that they have? What do you mean debates? Uh, that's just the barbershop. I mean, okay. he's a Red Sox fan, I think. He's a Yankee fan at the end, so there's always going to be some type of argument or, you know, some conversation about a current event going on. Okay. It's just the way it is at a barbershop. I, I would like to tell you to come on in. We're waiting for you, you know. We're uh, accepting of everybody. Young, old, black, white, come on in.